spell red. Red. L S T E R. Alright, what's going on YouTube? So today in this video we're gonna be replacing my thermostat. I have a Mishimoto thermostat for it. Uh, this one apparently opens up a little bit earlier than factory, so it'll keep temperatures pretty cool. What you want to do is just take off like your hot side intercooler piping just so you have all the room so you're not fighting around anything um, and your intake. So usually the first step would honestly be just to drain drain the cooling system but mine's already empty. That hose is right there. Just pull it off and drain it. So we're going to start off with taking off the uh, intake and hot side intercooler piping. Just probably like just the main side right here. Probably, I'll probably just be taking off this one and this one, then uh, just the intake. But uh, you wanna start off by loosening your hose clamps, pop those off, take off the connection down there, or take off the hose clamp that holds the uh, and take onto the turbo inlet, pop it off. So if you have factory intercooler pipes, just get you some vice grips or some channel locks and uh, pull the clamps away so that you can pull the pipes off. But me, I need a deep socket 10. All right, now that you got the hot side off, uh, you can now take off the intake. Just make sure you uh, put something inside the turbo so that nothing falls in or nothing like that. And now that you have uh, the intake and intercooler pipes out, you can now go down and remove one, two, and three bolts that hold your thermostat in. Also, now would be a good time to clean up this area if you need to, like I do, uh, because it is filthy in here. So these bolts right here are 12 mil bolts. So before you take it off, make sure you have something to catch any of the uh, extra extra coolant that's in the system. Because you don't want any of that coolant hitting the floor, like in case you got animals or something. Well, you know, as you can see right there, that is my old thermostat. It needs to come out. Junk. Alright, so this is the old thermostat it's a little ring look like all corroded and nasty kind of kind of gross so this is the new thermostat from Mishimoto this one says it opens up at uh, 68 degrees Celsius old versus new so before you put the new thermostat in just clean up a little bit more around the area um, so you don't have any like dirt or anything going in and make sure that it like sits right on the uh you just want to make sure it sits like perfect where it's supposed to so you just want the the area where it's going to be clean so you just want to clean it up a little bit more so now everything at this point is just reverse install uh you want to put the thermostat back in the way it came out and it has like a little notch a little notch right there that you can see that it's gonna slide right into. So you know that it's in right. So you wanna put it in the same way it came out. So the proper way is you have this longer end inside the engine. And remember, see how it has a little little notch there? I'm just gonna put it right back in how it is. Okay, just gonna put it in. Oh, try again. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Kind of hurting me though. Now you just want to put this back on and then reverse install. All right, it's all back in. Now time to put back on intake and intercooler piping. 
All right, so the intake is back in. Time to put in the intercooler pipes. Intercooler pipes back in. Intake back in. Now all you gotta do is fill back up the coolant. I use some of this stuff. And then just keep pouring until you see no more bubbles. And make sure your, uh, your temperature gauge inside the car, your coolant temp doesn't like spike up. If it does, that means you have an air bubble, so just continue to burp the system. Like you squeeze the pipe over there or down below. All right, so that's the end of the video for today. Um, like I said, that install should have been like maximum 20 minutes. But yeah, see y'all in the next one. Peace.